Yo, so 2020 uh, starts. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm like, you know, the way you start new year, new year, new thing. Yes. I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to make changes. Mm-hmm. And um, I was really like, I've been working. Uh, I had an online lingerie mm-hmm. store. Mm-hmm from 2016 mm-hmm. it was like and yeah this 2020 we have to make some signs we have to show something yes um so the year starts and i'm excited about it and then um around february i'm like okay uh there's news about covid yes. or there's lockdown i'm like okay i guess it won't have happened to our country before you know it lockdown yes and so i was really distraught because i was thinking so now what's gonna happen to me mm-hmm. Uh, with my online business because yeah. people are going to say, oh, there's no, there no cash, so we can't buy stuff. And you see, lingerie is um, it's just intimate. Yes. It's bras, aunties, yeah. boxers, vests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're thinking, okay, so are people still going to buy or they're going to say they're going to walk com- commando at this? <laughs> like, you know, I, I'm so worried <laughs> yes. about my business. The paranoia is kicking yes. in. Mm-hmm. Uh, but funny enough, things were actually picking up mm-hmm. because now people have all the time to show up. Yes. And they're online and hey, my, my, I was so happy. Like Instagram started actually making sense. Okay. Um, and then uh, I started having some headaches. Okay. It's not, I guess, uh, from November, when I think about it, I think I was very uh, lethargic. Mm-hmm. And it's, it, it's physical and emotional. Mm-hmm. And so I blame This is on, November 2019. Yes. Okay. So I'm I'm blaming it on everything else that's happening in my life. Yes. Uh, I'm I, I feel like my business is not going the way I want. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not like uh, I, I I was character developed. <laughs> my goodness, you're like what is this? What these people may not meet anyone anymore. <laughs> yes, yes. So by March, April, I start getting these headaches. They come, I take painkillers, they go. I'm mm-hmm. like, ah, I guess iliqua. Jua. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe it's the work, you know, because uh, when I'm doing my deliveries, I'd really like, because you're saving on costs. Mm-hmm. Uh, my tattoo fares had gone up. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm not paying a hundred bob to go to town. Yes. Hey, we have to save money. We need to. I know. And it, you're trying, I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm making money as much as everything is happening. True. Um, so I blamed it on maybe I'm working too. Ma- uh, I mean, I'm working too much. Yeah. Because I lived in Kasa, so f- I used to take a walk from the from Kasa where I live mm-hmm. to Risambu, so that wow. I pick the mat from Risambu to town. Yeah. It's at a cheaper price. Thirty I'm like yes. Eh. I know I'm the economist. <laughs> Sisi to Lizaliwa, Nairobi, we know how to maneuver. Sisi, you must to save as much Nairobi. as you possibly can. Yes. <laughs> and then I uh, the sun because uh, you know April now the the the, the it's not uh, any it's not rainy season season any I mean the hot weather is mulika in you mm-hmm. I can't get out I I start wearing shades mm-hmm. so we continue with this cat and mouse game of mm-hmm. headaches painkillers sleeping became hard I was having horrible insomnia yes but I'm like ah you know maybe it's anxiety mm-hmm. you know all those things. Mm-hmm. Uh, so June, I think my my body just said, nah, nah, we can't. This is it. This is it. We are we are done. Yes. So I was like, I guess I'm sick. So let's go check in. Um, and I was debating even mm-hmm. the D-Day. Mm-hmm. I was like, ah, I think I'll, I'll go to the hospital once I feel. Let me sleep five minutes. Yes. And I think for the first time, I don't know if I mentioned it in, uh, on my YouTube channel, but mm-hmm. I, fe- I actually related to being in and out of consciousness. Oh, wow. Okay. Because okay. around 3 p.m., yes. I've been convincing myself I need to get out and go to hospital. Mm-hmm. Remember, this curfew. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to tell myself I need to get to hospital before curfew so that I get, I, I'm not caught in the barabara mm-hmm. at that time. Mm-hmm. 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 So around 3 when I sleep out of consciousness mm-hmm. in my, it's like, I feel like I've already done the deed. I'm already in hospital. I'm mm-hmm. already being checked. Mm-hmm. So I've slipped out. I slip back in. I find I'm on the same position I was mm-hmm. 10 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? I'm not moved. Then I sleep up again. I feel like I've already called the people I need to call. Yes. Then 10 minutes later, same position. 
that went okay. on till around I think seven is when our I, I think some minutes to seven. Yes. I was like, if you wasted the whole day, mm-hmm. Kafi has already checked in. Yes. Yeah, so you, you must get yourself to the house. No, you can't. I'm in the house. I haven't oh, moved okay. from my bed. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 So I'm like, I can't even go to hospital because Kafi has fikad. Yes. So I call my friend who was a cabi, the mm-hmm. cabi, the the, uh, the apartment I live, apo chini kuna msel kwa na pakapo. So mm-hmm. we became friends. So mm-hmm. I call him. I say, yo, what time do you open tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Do you start work tomorrow? He tells me around six. Mm-hmm. I'm like, um, so since kafi si kuna, it was four. Yes, yes, yes. Like, so let's do this. Uh, can you come before that? Pick me up. Mm-hmm. Take me to hospital. Then you go jobo. Yes. Like, why? What's wrong? I'm like, eh, Lilizidiwa. In fact, yes, yesterday I was talking to them. I was telling, eh, hey, I have a bad headache. It's mm-hmm. not going away. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, eh, hey, you, you need to take me to hospital. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was like, why not now? I'm like, it's already curfew. It's like, Eve, I'm coming there in the next 10 minutes. Oh, let wow. me find. Let me find you downstairs. I'm like, I'm not sure if I can move from my bed. Because remember, I've been telling myself, get out. Yes. He told me, you get to the door then. If you can't get to the gate, we'll call the caretaker. We'll get, we to talk pata kwa mlango. Yes. Anyway, I made it. And we went to hospital. Mm-hmm. I was told this bacterial in- infection. I was mm-hmm. like, ah, within five days, I'll be good. Yeah, ah, meds, this so is this what was disturbing me. My friend, that was Wednesday, 10th of June. Okay. 11th, I wake up with tonsils. I'm like, how does this work? How in, like... I went to hospital yesterday. Yes. I'm worse today with something different that I wasn't feeling connected. yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, yes. I'm still taking painkillers, which is l- l- doing absolutely nothing. Mind you, the headache hasn't gone down. Mm-hmm. It's just there. It's like a, it's like someone banging your head continuously, and so even when I slept, it was slipping out of kuchoka. Mm. Uh, so I'm extra tired. I haven't slept. Yes. I'm in. T- I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. So after the diagnosis of uh, bacterial, bacterial infection, infer- were you given like meds that yes. were supposed to simmer down the pain? Uh, there was painkillers, the ones you pop, dissolve. Were, you, were they working for you in the following day? See, that's what I'm saying. I'm waking up with more is- issues than before. So it's baffling also. I'm like, okay, maybe I need to still continue because antibiotics take five days mm-hmm. or seven. Yes. Uh, that was Thursday. So Thursday, I really struggled. Then Friday, I wake up in the morning around seven. Mm-hmm. So, um, I find my eyesight is glassy. Mm-hmm. I'm like, huh? Wrong, wrong, wrong dream, wrong dream. Go back. <laughs> I think. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this, this must be, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm too tired. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's mm-hmm. the lethargy. Mm-hmm. So I go back to sleep. I wake up at nine. Same thing. It dawned on me. Yo, it's my sight. It's actually my sight. It's not a dream. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's how I first lost my sight, partially. All right, it's interesting. So we're going to go into music, come back, and then we pick it up from there. Okay. Then we can continue. Some kuna kuna coming in through for you. Where can we find you on social? So, of course, we can start interacting with you as soon as now. Ah, on Twitter. um, It's X now. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. I love it. Yes, it's X now. Mm -hmm. Um, At Eve Kibbs. E V E K I B Z, yes. the newly blind girl. Yes. Uh, on Facebook, I have a page, the Blind Girl Experience. Mm-hmm. On YouTube, mm-hmm. um, the Blind Girl Experience as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, go check me out there, and probably you can follow up on this story from yes. episode one, the Genesis. Absolutely. Yes. 